Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Mantaflow tutorial series. This video is going to be on guides and effectors, which is the last part of the full settings breakdown that I've been going through. So that means that after this video, we're going to start making some cool simulations, and it's going to be awesome. So without any further ado, let's hop into Blender and get started. Effector objects can either collide with a fluid or act as a guide for it by changing the fluid velocity. We can change between these two types of effectors with the effector type menu. Effectors work the same for both fluid types, so we don't have to pick between gas and liquid in the settings. When this is set to collision, we get this familiar is planar toggle. This should be turned on if the object is flat, like this plane, to give more accurate collisions. The surface thickness value controls how far out the fluid will collide with the surface. It can be helpful to increase this value if the fluid is penetrating into the mesh but increasing it can result in a force field of sort surrounding your effector. Both of those are pretty simple options, matching the way this effector type works. If I make this simulation, the fluid will collide with the effector. Let's switch to guides now. We're going to take a look at the guides dropdown in the domain settings first, and then we'll go back to our effector object. Guides can take the velocity of the guiding object and use it to affect the fluid. They can either be an effector object, or you can actually use a domain object and the simulation that is baked inside of it as your guide. As an example, another great YouTube channel, Blender Made Easy, made this simulation where smoke acts like fluid by using a fluid simulation as the guide for his smoke. Pretty cool stuff. We can switch between using effectors and using domains with this velocity source option. The weight slider controls the strength of the guide. You can see that in this example, the smoke seems to move with more force. This is separate from the velocity factor, as it doesn't have a faster base speed. Rather, the guide just has more weight and therefore influence. This size value controls the size of smoke billows resulting from the guiding velocity. And the velocity factor multiplies the velocity from all guides, providing an easy way to increase or decrease the guiding velocity across this whole scene. The guides will have to be baked anytime you change any settings related to them. Anytime you make a change, you'll have to rebake them to have that in the simulation. If your guides are set to domain, then there is one more option where you can select the domain to use for your fluid guiding. Let's hop back over to our effector and take a look at that. The is planar toggle should be on when using a flat guide, just like with collisions. The surface thickness works exactly like the collision objects as well, allowing you to define extra thickness past the mesh surface. Or at least that should be how the surface thickness setting works, however, I've found that when using it on a guide object, it will cause the guide to be deactivated. I haven't found a fix for this yet, but I will update you in the comment section if I figure anything out. The velocity factor allows individual control over the velocity of the effector for more or less influence. And the guide mode controls how the effector velocity will be applied to the smoke. When this is set to maximize, the guiding velocity will have an effect if it is greater than the pre-existing fluid velocity. When set to minimize, the guide velocity will only come into play and be used if it is less than the existing fluid velocity. Override is the simplest. It will always use the guide velocity, regardless of the existing velocity already present from rising fluid or smoke. And the last, Averaged, will use the velocity that is already present, and then average it with the guide velocity, and use that result for the effect. And there you have it. Like I said, next couple of videos are going to go over some very cool things, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that more people can see it, and you get updated whenever I upload a new one. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.